Welcome to Infinite Realms. This is another developer vlog version 2022.0.2. The major new feature is a 3D view mode, as well as updates to the UI and existing tools like the line of sight and distance tool. My name is Danny, let's do this. The first person view is only available on 3D scenarios, as it would make little sense on a 2D or on a video map. To get into 3D view mode, there is a button on the scenario tab that starts an animation to get you right into the map. Relative position of the view is saved, so when you save the scenario, your current 3D view options are saved as well. This way you can prepare the scene just like the battle map setup in advance to later load it in your gaming session. I have implemented an orbit style movement, moving around the center of the current battle map section. You can freely move around and show the scene to your players from any angle you may want. Infinite Ramps automatically switches to the Move tool when entering 3D view mode, disabling the Tools tab in the bottom menu. You have three options to move, keyboard, mouse and fine step UI buttons for precise placement. You can move left, right, toward center, farther away with the WASD and arrow keys. The camera is moved up and down with Q and E. The angle is set with Z and H. Mouse movement may take a bit of training. Hobbiting left and right, as well as changing the viewing angle, is done by holding the left mouse button. Holding the right mouse button lets you slide towards or away from the center of the current battle map. Finally, you can adjust camera height with a mouse wheel. As I already mentioned, there are also UI buttons. These are single-click small step buttons to precisely adjust your view. What do you think? Is this useful for your campaigns? Does it bring the environment to life? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. The 3D view animation speed is dependent on the view distance and map mode. It takes 2.5 to 3.5 seconds to complete the animation. There is also an option to show tools, fog of war, grid, tokens and so on. Normally I guess you would want to show only the pure scene to your players to set the mood and show the surroundings. But just in case you want to have grid, paint layer or the distance tool, you can set this before entering 3D view. Mind that the tooltab is not available in 3D view, as some tools may not work correctly when manipulated here. Before we get on to other new features, and just in case you are not already in, Infinite Realms is in early access right now. We do not have an automated payment system yet, but you can contact Nina, nina at megavolt.de, providing your country or state of residence. We need this info for taxes that may apply. Anyway, Nina will be able to work something out with you. On to the Line of Sight tool. I have moved the Line of Sight tool from its static zero level to the configurable ground level introduced in 2022.0.1. It is now relative to the same movable level where grid, fog of war and so on reside. Doing this was a lot of fun, as moving calculations from world scale vectors to local vectors usually is for a developer. My high school math teacher would finally be very, very proud of me. I have also updated the UI. There was a redesign of the map selection window. There is now space for longer map names, the vertical scroll area is more intuitive and I also added a full text search field. A search field was also added to the load scenario window. This can come in handy when managing multiple campaigns with multiple scenarios each. Oh, and if you like what you see, please share this with your friends and leave a like below. What else? We had an annoying and rather obvious bug. Some textures were missing their normal map. Basically some kind of basic built-in pseudo 3D information to make textures not look as flat as they really are. In addition, some water materials that should have been transparent were opaque or not even rendered at all on the second screen. This was due to incompatible shader engine versions in our map pack and core program that are developed separately. To fix this, we rolled back the engine version in Core Infinite Realms. It will be updated simultaneously with the map data in a future version. Like to learn more? Here's an Infinite Realms trailer. Here is the whole developer vlog playlist. And here are our 2021 version tutorials that show off a lot of features. Have a good time and see you in the next one.